then you went through the Sylvia Fowles era, and, and she That's retired right. after last season. What a run for her. Incredible run. Uh, one of the, one of the, obviously the best center in the history of the league. Yeah. And, uh, just a special person. You know, that's the thing with Syl. And, you know, you've been around it, Alan. You know, it's not just that we win or win championships, but how we do it, who we do it with, is really what makes it special. Timberwolves still down by 14 here. Both teams have gone empty in their last couple of possessions. Around the screen, Beauchamp pulls up on the top of the key jumper. That rims off, and Rudy Gobert with the rebound. He's out there with Nas Reed, D'Angelo Russell, Anthony Edwards, and Jalen Noel. D'Lo pops left angle three. Got it. D'Angelo Russell brings the Wolves to within 11. What have you been? Uh, how much of Wolves basketball have you watched? Well, I've watched it on TV some. I've been yep. I've been out east for a little bit, and I actually had a chance to watch it on lead pass early on. Uh, this is my first live game, so really happy to be here. Holiday right side three short. Rudy the rebound. Good hit ahead to Nas Reed on the move against Grayson Allen, and Allen has no choice but to foul him. Nas will go to the free throw line for two. Uh, what do you think of the Rudy Gobert addition in the offseason when you add a three-time defensive player of the year to your roster? Yeah, I was really excited about it. I understood, you know, the kind of the, the big investment in him. Uh, he's, he's elite in terms of his rim protection, things that win basketball games. He's very productive. Um, you know, we just got to figure out, you know, the offensive side of it, you know, how to bring out the best in him, how to bring out the best in others when he's on the floor. Uh, playing early in, in uh, offense, what you just saw those last two possessions, that will be really helpful, playing off your defense, getting ahead in the possession. That's when we'll be at our best. It really is a big adjustment when you add something, someone like him, and then you're asking someone like Carl, who's in his eighth year now, to play a different position, a different style. Um, Jaden slides to the small. It, it's a change for everybody. It goes right down the line. And even for for Ant, you know, Anthony yeah. Edwards, who you know is not getting very many uh, rim attempts, uh, you know, as he's accustomed to. So they'll all figure it out. They just need some time together. And with a steal here, the push to D'Angelo Russell in the corner. Wolves down by nine, 40 to 31. Ant with it up top against Grayson Allen. Calls for the Rudy screen, rejects that, drives into the paint, lost it, out of bounds. And that's been a problem for Ant on his drives. He's been top 15 in drives per game, but has the highest turnover rate in the NBA. I think teams, are, teams are probably adjusting to him a little bit more, right? Mm -hmm. They're really starting to you know, bring that help and make him make decisions. Giannis up the center of the floor off the Lopez screen, attacking Rudy in the lane, flipped up the shot, no, but he'll go to the free throw line where he gets 12 free throw attempts per game. Uh, so where does the, who are we building around with the links now? Nafisa Collier had a baby last year, right? She did. Only played a handful of games, what, four yeah, games? Yeah, she tried to get back for Syl, wanted to be on the floor with Syl, you know, just a couple more times. And so she was able to do that. That was a success story for us. Uh, we need Nafisa back, obviously, back in, uh, you know, elite form, top 10 player in the league. Uh, you know, added to her family, you know, baby Mila, who's just precious. Uh, so they're they're super excited to kind of get their family started, and and I know that she's working hard to, you know, to be even better than what she was, but but before, uh, you know, she had the season off. I remember filling in on a game a couple of years ago on the CBS Sports Network when they were doing stuff, and I think it might have been a rookie year or something. Yeah. She just seems like a really well-rounded person, grounded. So many of the WNBA players. That's what one of the things I remember most about being in the WNBA and covering those games it's just getting to know the players right. and how they kind of had just they they all got it they understood yeah. where the league was and what they had to do as players to promote exactly the right. league um, and she seemed right in line with a lot of the other players yeah Fee has a, a youthful maturity uh, so so she can be youthful and, and naive at the same time she's really got a sense of uh, team play uh, you know just what's needed from a leadership standpoint she's willing to do uh, difficult things in terms of a voice on the team and, uh, so she's definitely somebody you want to build around and, and we're excited to, to have her back in 2023. Giannis was able to hit a pair at the free throw line then Nas Reed playing with an edge these days he scores at the offensive end rips down a defensive rebound here come the Wolves trailing by eight 41 33. Russell pump fakes the three gives it off to Nas who gives it right back he has got Brooke Lopez on him here. Wants to take him off the dribble. Pull up on the right angle. Three off the heel. No. And the rebound to Beauchamp. Bulls get back defensively here. Trailing by eight. Cheryl Reeve along with us. Head coach and now not general manager, but president of basketball operations. Yeah, we have right? a, yes, I, I vacated the general manager position. So now president of basketball operations. And so now we have a general manager uh, spot open. Uh, that that we'll be looking to uh, to fill here shortly. Well, it makes sense if we're going to have a president of basketball. Some teams go president of basketball operations. Other teams go GM. I, I don't know what the, really the difference is, but as far as the hierarchy goes, it's good to have the balance from the, yeah. on the women's side and the men's side. And I, and I think the most important part of this is my ability to to get out of the way of, of those that want to grow in the executive positions. And so a general manager position is really valuable. 
Uh, and so there's not many present of basketball operations. It's more a sign of how long I've been in the league. Uh, those of us that are more tenured uh, tend, tend to take on those positions. And, and now we